In this video, we're going to go over the basics of JS Hints. JS Hints is a co-efficiency tool to help you lint your JavaScript code before they get released to production. The way JS Hints works is that it add, you use it to run against a certain JavaScript file and it will run through it, catch any errors it may find, and then let you know about it. This way, you will write your code in a much safer way, knowing there's a tool to help you identify errors. So to get started, we need to install JS Hints as a dev dependency in package.json and then we can set up a startup script under the scripts section of the, the, of the package JSON and we'll just call it lint and have it run JS hints against the index.js file. Now the way JS hints works is you have this .js hints rc file which defines certain parameters that you want to run against the code. So I'll go over what these things are in a second, but if you need a full documentation on all of these and what's available, you can go to the JS Hints website and check out more information about it. So in this, um, this one here, I have it installed already. If not, you should do npm install and it will install um, JS Hint on it. Once you have it installed, we just have to run npm run, run lint. So this will lint against the index.js. And as you can see, it finds all these error here and it tells you the specific line number and the column where the error was found. So let's go into index.js and see what it looks like. So this is index.js. It's basically a function with many uh, mini statements inside of it. So we'll go over one on one by one. So I'm have I'm writing for each of these um, settings. I'm writing a line of code to show you what they're what they mean. So this is like a really common configuration file for JS hints. So let's go over curly. This option makes it mandatory for your to do curly braces in JavaScript. Now in JavaScript, if you have a, a function or a loop where there's a single statement inside, you don't really need to have braces. But in order for better code uh, cleanness, we need to have that in place. So let's say on a team um, where everybody will feel much uh, better when every function is or every loop or function is wrapped in a curly brace. So to fix it, we just have to do this. Even though this is a single statement, we still have to put it inside the braces. So this option will make JS hint throw error if you don't do that. So this way we fix this, and this is the correct way of doing it. Now this EQE, QEQ, this option is the for truly equal simple. So in JavaScript, the, if you do two equal sign, this is not really efficient due to the way JavaScript is implemented. So to always get the best result that you sh expect from comparison, always do three equal signs. So this will force it to use always use three equal sign on things. If you don't, it will throw an error. Same thing goes for the not equal sign. It should always be not equal equal instead of just this. So this will fix this. Now the late definition configuration option is for JavaScript file. Because in, in JavaScript, you can use a variable before it's declared. So that's one of the features that JavaScript does for you. It's called hoisting, in which it will try to look for this declaration after in the in the statements after and if it finds it it will basically set this variable to whatever this was declared as so you could actually this way you can actually declare a use a variable before it's declared and this is really bad code so we shouldn't do this 
So this uh, option will force it to do this. So in order to fix it, you have to put it after its declaration. Usually you want to declare all your variables at the very top. Now this evil, it's a funny configuration name, but evil means not use eval. So there's, there's a thing called eval in JavaScript. It's extremely discouraged to use it anywhere in your program. If you're using it, you're most likely doing it wrong. But there are some valid cases where you need to use it, and that's mostly reserved for people writing JavaScript libraries, like really low-level stuff. So we should probably not use this at all. Eval is evil, so don't use it. Now, no arg. This one is interesting. You, it prohibits the use of arguments.caller and arguments.callee. Um, they are really deprecated in the future version of JavaScript. So if you use this thing, it will actually cause more errors in the internal JavaScript engine. Like it's a really terrible thing to use, and we should not use it. In fact, if you use uh, strict mode in JavaScript 5, it will throw an error when you try to use these things. So we should probably not use them. But they do have some use cases when you are writing a JavaScript library itself. And the newer version of JavaScript, it will provide much better um, alternative to these two. On dev is this option prohibits the use of explicitly undeclared variables. Um, so you, when you try to set something to be something that was never declared, this is uh, it's a bad practice, so you should not do it. And with this option turned on, JS Hint would detect that and then make a warning for you. Now EQ no, this one will suppress the warnings about equal equal no comparisons. So usually in JavaScript, it will throw an error when you try to compare something to equal equal no. Um, but we, this is not really an error. It's it's just something JavaScript makes noise about. So this will suppress that error and it will let you use it. So um, with that said, this should fix most of your problems. And let's check it out. Ah, apparently we have many things here. Uh, let's see, line six. Oh, did I say? I don't think I saved. Yeah, so now we just have uh, one single error, line 55, column 2, missing a semicolon. So this is a variable declaration, so we need a semicolon down here. I need to pay for my sublime too. And then when you run it again, and it should be error free. So you should, I recommend looking at the JS Hint website to see all the f available configuration you can use in your daily development. So JS Hint is very useful, and you should definitely use it in your projects.